Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Literature with Borba. In today's video, we are going to talk about an iconic classic novel of American literature, The Great Gatsby. We are going to look at the important characters of the novel, the detailed summary, and also we will critically analyze the novel that why it is called The Great Gatsby. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald was published in 1925. It is a modernist novel set in the Jazz Age. Now I have already made a video on the Jazz Age and the Roaring Twenties. So please do watch the video so that you can have better context. Now, before we look at the detailed summary of the novel, let's first take a look at the important characters of the book. So, at first we have Nick Carraway. He is the narrator of the novel. So, he is a young man from Minnesota. So, he is educated from Yale and he was also in the First World War. And now he has moved to New York to learn the bond business. So he has settled in West Egg, a fictional area in Long Island where the newly rich people are staying. So West Egg is the home to the new rich and Nick Carraway is also the neighbor of the mysterious Jay Gatsby. Next we have Jay Gatsby. His original name is James Gats and he is a mysterious wealthy man living in a huge mansion in West Egg and he throws lavish parties every Saturday night. Then we have Daisy Buchanan. So Daisy Buchanan is Nick's cousin and the woman Gatsby loves. Currently she is married to the wealthy Tom Buchanan. Both Tom and Daisy live in the East Egg district. So East Egg is the place where traditional rich people who have been rich since decades and centuries, they live. So there Daisy and Tom live in the East Egg, whereas Nick and Gatsby, they live in the West Egg. Next we have Tom Buchanan, Daisy's arrogant, wealthy and hypocritical husband. And Tom is having an extramarital relationship with Myrtle Wilson. After that, we have Jordan Baker. Jordan Baker is a friend of Daisy and Nick's love interest. She's a golfer. Then we have Myrtle Wilson. So she's the mistress of Tom Buchanan and she's married to George Wilson. And lastly, we have George Wilson the husband of Myrtle Wilson and he's the owner of a garage and is a car mechanic. So these are the important characters of the great Gatsby. Now let's take a look at the detailed summary of the novel. So Nick Carraway is the narrator of the great Gatsby. When the book begins, we see that Nick has moved to the West Egg district and he wants to make his fortune as a bond salesman. Now again I will repeat that in West Egg district the newly rich people live whereas in the East Egg district the traditional rich people live. And the wealthy neighbor of Nick Carraway is Jay Gatsby. So he lives in a huge gothic mansion and he throws lavish parties every Saturday night. Now one day, Nick travels to the East Egg District to meet his cousin, Daisy Buchanan, and her husband, Tom Buchanan. There he also meets Jordan Baker, a professional golfer. Now Nick gets to learn something about Daisy and Tom's marriage. Jordan tells Nick that Tom has a lover, Myrtle Wilson. Shortly after, Tom introduces Nick to his mistress, Myrtle, a middle-class woman whose husband runs a modest garage in the Valley of Ashes. Soon, Nick gets an invitation to Gatsby's party and he attends it. There, he bumps into Jordan Baker 
and Gatsby himself. Gatsby is a wonderful and gracious host, but he likes to stay detached from his guests. He's like an observer in his own parties. He likes to call everyone old sport. And in that same party, Gatsby also talks to Jordan Baker alone. Soon, Gatsby and Nick become friends. Nick and Jordan also begins to see each other on a regular basis. One day, Nick and Gatsby travel to the city and there they meet Meyer Wolfshire, one of Gatsby's associates and Gatsby's link to organized crime. So you have to understand that the reason Gatsby is so mysteriously wealthy has a lot to do about his connection to crime. He is definitely, he has made so much of money by selling things that are not legal and stuff like that, which was a common phenomenon in the Roaring Twenties and the Jazz Age. On the same day, while having tea with Jordan Baker, Nick learns that Gatsby is in love with Daisy. Gatsby had met Daisy years earlier when he was in the army. They were in love, but they could not be together because Gatsby was not rich. Now Gatsby has made all his fortune with the only aim of winning Daisy back. He started hosting these lavish parties every Saturday night so that one day Daisy will attend one of his parties. That was his hope, but obviously that did not happen. Now Gatsby wants to meet Daisy face to face. That's why through Jordan, Gatsby asks Nick to invite Daisy to his house so that Gatsby can meet Daisy. So Gatsby and Daisy are supposed to meet at Nick's house. The day of the meeting arrives the former lovers, Daisy and Gatsby, at first they are very nervous, but soon they start feeling very comfortable around each other. And then the three of them, Nick, Gatsby and Daisy, they move the party from Nick's house to Gatsby's house. Gatsby takes a lot of delight in showing Daisy his huge gothic mansion and all the decor in it rooms and Daisy also enjoys the beautiful house that Gatsby has built. Soon Tom and Daisy attend one of Gatsby's parties. Tom spends his time chasing women whereas Gatsby and Daisy sneak over to Nick's yard for a moment's privacy. Gatsby and Daisy's affair begins to grow and they see each other on a regular basis. On one fateful summer day, Nick and Gatsby travel to the East Tech to have lunch with the Buchanans and Jordan Baker. Daisy tells everyone to plan a trip to the city. Now Daisy shows a lot of attention to Gatsby because she does not want to hide her feelings. She does not want to hide her love for Gatsby and Tom easily understands what is going on between Daisy and Gatsby? Tom, Nick and Jordan drive in Gatsby's car, whereas Gatsby and Daisy drive in Tom's car. Now, because the car is low in gas, therefore Tom stops the car at George Wilson's gas station. And there he sees that Wilson is not well. Just like Tom, who has learned about his wife's affair with Gatsby, Wilson has also learned about his wife's secret affair, but he does not know who the man is. So George Wilson tells Tom that he has planned to take Myrtle away from that place, which makes Tom very unhappy. The group ends up at the Plaza Hotel. Tom questions Gatsby about his intentions regarding Daisy. Gatsby declares that Daisy has never loved Tom and that Daisy has always loved Gatsby. Gatsby tells Daisy to tell that to Tom that she has never loved Tom. But Daisy does not do that. And when Daisy does not do that, Gatsby then declares that Daisy will soon leave Tom. 
But Tom understands Daisy far better than Gatsby. Tom knows that Daisy is never going to leave him because his power, status, wealth due to belonging to a traditional upper class family will always win over Gatsby's newfound wealth. Tom orders Gatsby and Daisy to go back home in Gatsby's car and Tom, Nick and Jordan follow them in his car. As Tom's car approaches Wilson's garage, they can all see that some sort of accident has happened. They learn that Myrtle has been hit and killed by a passing car that did not care to stop. And that car seems to have been Gatsby's car. Nick, Tom and Jordan return home. Nick learns that Daisy and not Gatsby was driving the car when the accident happened. But Gatsby confesses that he will take all the blame. On the other hand, George Wilson is trying to find out who is the driver of the car that killed Myrtle. Tom tells George that Gatsby was the driver of the car. George Wilson thinks that the driver of the car that killed Myrtle must be her secret lover. George Wilson finds Gatsby in the pool at his mansion and he shoots him dead. Later, he shoots himself. So both Gatsby and George Wilson are dead. After Gatsby's death, Nick makes arrangement for Gatsby's funeral. Nick sees that no one seems to be concerned about Gatsby's death. Daisy and Tom have mysteriously left for a trip. And all those people who attended Gatsby's parties refused to become involved. Even Meyer Wolfsheim, Gatsby's business partner, refused to publicly mourn his friend. Nick also ends his relationship with Jordan Baker. A telegram from Henry C. Gats, Gatsby's father, arrives saying that he will attend the funeral. So Gatsby's funeral only has Nick, Henry Gats, a few servants and the minister at the graveside. Despite his eventful life, when he died, Gatsby was completely forgotten and abandoned. Nick moves back to the Midwest to escape the disgust that he feels from seeing the people surrounding Gatsby's life and from the moral decay of the wealthy people living in the East Egg. Nick reflects that just like Gatsby's dream of Daisy was corrupted by money and dishonesty, the American dream of happiness and individualism has disintegrated into a mere pursuit of wealth by even dishonest means. The American dream has become an American tragedy or nightmare. Gatsby thought that when he will become very rich, he will win Daisy back. He will get the love of Daisy. But that did not happen. And in order to become rich, Gatsby did everything that was illegal and dishonest. He became rich by dishonest means. And for the girl that he did everything, he did not get the love of that girl. She was not even present at his funeral. And he was also tragically killed for something that he has not done. Therefore, we can see that the American dream has become an American tragedy. Through Nick, we also understand why despite all his flaws, Gatsby is called great. Gatsby's power to transform his dreams into reality and the way he loved Daisy, his capability to love Daisy deeply makes him truly great. He was also ready to take the blame of Myrtle's murder in order to save Daisy. So that is what makes Gatsby great despite all his flaws. So that was all for today's video where we discussed The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I hope you found the video useful. If you found it helpful, then do like it and share with all your friends. I will be back very soon with a brand new video on a literary work. 
Till then, stay tuned to Learning Literature with Purva. Do subscribe to our channel. Also visit our online academy www.learningliteraturewithpurva.com to discover online courses and classes on English literature and creative writing. Also stay connected on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching.